video is going to be my final thoughts on the Lush Labs perfumes that I have recently purchased. Now, I did have a chance to wear each perfume throughout the week when I went to work. So this video is just gonna be me going over each of them to see how my thoughts changed after just my, my first thoughts when I first sniffed them before actually having a chance to wear them. And some things definitely did change as far as my feelings towards some of the scents and just how long they lasted and everything like that. So I'm going to go in order of my most favorite to least favorite. So we're just gonna get right into the video. My favorite actually ended up being over and over. And the scent of this is just a sweet citrus. Now you guys know how I feel typically about citrus smells, but this one is definitely on the sweet side. It smells like just a sweet lemon lime scent. If you're familiar with those jelly candies with the sugar, the sugar jelly candies that are shaped like fruit slices, um, it smells like the yellow and green ones, the lemon and lime specifically. Um, that's what I smell when I smell this. It's just a very nice sugary, sweet citrus scent. This lasted on my skin like six hours hours at least. I was smelling it throughout my my work day pretty much. Um, just very long lasting. And when I was getting whiffs of it while I was working, it made me smile. It put a smile on my face. Like it just, the scent of it is just very like happy and bright smelling. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Maybe I was just having a really good day too, but this perfume definitely like shot to the very top of my list as far as being my favorite. Second, I am going to give to Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis had that warm, spicy, peppery kind of smell. It's like fall in a bottle, pretty much, as far as scent goes. Again, this one lasted on my skin so long, probably even longer than over and over. I did write down, like I put notes um, after I wore them, how I felt and all of that. And I put down this lasted seven plus hours on my skin. So definitely a long lasting scent. The only downfall to the Metamorphosis perfume, in my opinion, is when I was getting whiffs of it, it, to me, I felt like I was wearing more of a cologne. Um, it does have that, like I said, that warm, spicy, peppery smell that I kind of associate with like men's cologne, but I really liked smelling it. It just smells so good. And I didn't even really care too much that I was smelling like that because it just, it was something that I wanted to smell kind of thing. Um, but this is one that I would totally give my boyfriend to wear. I would love for him to smell like it. It smells very, very good. It's a great scent. Um, however, it's not, I wouldn't necessarily pick this one up all the time to wear on myself, but I would like him to wear it. He likes the smell as well. Um, so that's why I'm giving it my number two spot because scent wise and how long this lasted was fantastic. Third is going to go to Orange Blossom and this kind of was a surprise for me as well. This does have the same scent as the Snow Cloud soap that came out at Christmas time. So if you liked that soap, chances are you're gonna like the perfume because it pretty much smells spot on to the soap. To me, Orange Blossom has that orange smell, but there's like a greenery to it. When I first smelled it, and even when I first sprayed it on, I wasn't like, blown away. I was just kind of like, okay, I mean, this smells nice, but I don't think this is like my favorite scent. However, after wearing it all day, it was growing on me. Like I put it on and like pretty much by the time I got to work, 
it was already growing on me. Like I was enjoying smelling the scent on myself. And this one again lasted a full work day for me. Um, looking at my notes, I actually think this one lasted the longest because I remember when I came home from work and I was like writing down my notes um, about the perfume after wearing it and I had my boyfriend smell my arm. I was like, oh my gosh, like I still smell this perfume and he could too. So again, definitely long lasting. If you like the snow cloud soap from last Christmas, um, you'll definitely like it. It's got, it's got a, that orange citrus kind of smell, but there is like a greenery scent to it. That's the only way I can describe it. It smells really good though. Fourth place, I am giving to Assassin. Now, Assassin, when I know this one has been like a hit or miss with people. Um, when I first smelled it, um, just my first thoughts, I was like, wow, it doesn't really remind me too much of the shower gel. Um, and it was just very, to me, smelled like sweet tobacco is how I was describing it. If you have smelled the Assassin shower gel, um, I definitely get a lot of pine with that, um, with the shower gel. However, with the perfume, not so much. When I first sprayed it on, I did get an initial smell of pine, but that kind of just wore off and then I was left with that sweet tobacco smell. Um, that I have been, I've just been using that to describe this scent because that's that's what I smell when I sniff it. It's very grandfatherly. Um, and also, I don't know if any anyone else watches um, Once Upon a Time, the TV show. If you don't, you will have to Netflix that um, as soon as you're done this video and go watch it because it's an amazing show. Anyway, Killian Jones on Once Upon a Time, he's the pirate, Captain Hook, right? Um, th that's just what I imagine him smelling like. It's very just, I don't know, It's there's a sexiness to it, but just also that warm, sweet, I don't know, like he just came out of like a dank pirate cabin or something on a ship. Like, it's, it's, hard to describe other than to me when I say a sweet tobacco smell. Smells great. When I wore it again, when I was smelling it, I was more thinking I smelled like I sprayed on a, a men's cologne. Um, so again, this is one where I like the smell of it, but I would rather my boyfriend wear it kind of thing. The scent lasted pretty good on this one as well and yeah, I really enjoyed the scent. Number five, I am giving to two more hearts. This one was a floral scent. I initially described it as a powdery floral and that is how I would still describe it. It smells to me like roses sprinkled with baby powder is how I would describe it. Like if Johnson & Johnson came out with a rose scented baby powder, that's what Two More Hearts smells like to me. It smells nice. It smells like a talcum powder, like a dusting powder that, um, you know, like a grand, I don't wanna say a grandmother would wear because it's it smells good. I like the smell of it but I feel like I'm not old enough to wear it. Like I was joking with my boyfriend, I wore it. Um, one day we were, I don't know, I think we were going to like the grocery store or something and I told him, I was like laughing. I said, years and years from now, if I still have this perfume, well, I'm gonna bust it out because that's when I'll be ready for it. That's when I'm gonna wanna smell like roses dusted with baby powder. Um, but yeah, it's a nice scent. I just, it's not my favorite. As far as the scent lasting, I felt like it didn't last a whole long time on my skin. And I just overall had a general meh feeling about it. Like maybe like as I was joking, maybe I'm not old enough yet uh, to wear it, but it is, it's a nice smell. Just not, not my favorite. And then lastly, 
In last place, I have Cocktail, and if you watched my first thoughts video, uh, I thought Cocktail was gonna be like my favorite out of out of all of them, and it ends up being my least favorite. That's why like you can't just go off just smelling something. Like you have to actually wear it for a day before you can fully just know exactly how you feel towards the scent, how it reacts to your skin and all of that. So cocktail, I would describe as a warm floral. It did not last long on my skin. It just, to me, didn't have anything real special to it. It smells fine. There, none of these perfumes I thought stank or just weren't like good scent wise, they all smelled perfectly fine in my opinion. Uh, but to me, cocktail just, there wasn't anything real special about it. Like my first four all had something just really going good for it. And then the last two, the two more hearts and the cocktail, it just, you know, there wasn't anything real special. Um, about those in my opinion, but again, like they all smelled perfectly fine. So those are my final thoughts on the Lush Labs perfumes. Um, again, these are just my thoughts on them. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you have purchased any of these, um, if you have worn them, what your favorite one has been, has there been one that you just can't stand, and why is it that you can't stand it? Um, like I said, I think they all smell fine. None of them, I think, reek or anything like that. Uh, but I definitely had my favorites and not so favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative and I will see you next time.